What is going on, YouTube? It is Randy Talks Mets in the building. This video is going to be about the Mets. Apparently, their post-lockout plans, they are looking for a pitcher, you know, either from free agency or by trade. So, definitely, guys, if you enjoy my videos, you know, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. But leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, this is where we talk Mets news. This is where we talk baseball news in general. So, definitely, guys, you know, the New York Mets, they have made a lot of moves, you know, they had Starlin Marte, Mark Canna, they got Max Scherzer, they got Eduardo Escobar. They have made a lot of moves, you know. So, you know, with the post-lockout plans, the Mets currently are looking for some type of pitcher, you know, to be the number three to, um, you know, obviously the best one-two punch in a long time, uh, Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer. So, guys... This is big, 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 big news. Definitely, guys, uh, we're going to talk about a couple of pitchers here. And I'm also going to get into another pitcher that I think the Mets should, um, you know, trade for. But, yeah, that, let's get into free agency pitchers. Let's get some type of free agency pitchers. So, Clayton Kershaw, guys. Clayton Kershaw is like 33 or 34 years old. You know what I'm saying? We know about Clayton Kershaw. We know his success. We know how, how much, you know, what he has done. But, you know, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about him. So, yeah, definitely, guys, Clayton Kershaw is like 33 years old, 34 around there. Guys, he has won an MVP. You know, he's one of, um, what what is he? He's like one of three or, or four pitchers to only win an MVP. So, definitely, guys, Clayton Kershaw, you know, the fact that he has won an MVP, it just shows that he's an amazing, you know, player, you know. He's a three-time Cy Young. Guys, this guy's a guaranteed Hall of Famer. You know what I'm saying? A three-time Cy Young, a triple crown winner, you know, guys. Eight-time All-Star and a 2020 World Series champion. You, we know Clay Kershaw and we know with the Dodgers and we know he has always been with the Dodgers. We know his success with the Dodgers, you know. We know that he has, you know, loved and, and you know, really... Really loved, uh, you know, the Dodgers and L.A. So, definitely, um, it would take a lot for the Mets to, you know, bring him over here to New York, you know. Because that is a big move from L.A. to New York. And Clayton Kershaw is like, you know, he's like, what is he? What is, he's like the Tom Seaver, I guess, you know, of the Mets, you know what I'm saying? So, to, to the Dodgers. So, yeah, guys, uh, he's a five-time ERA title, you know. You know, he has... Won the ERA title five times. So it shows that, uh, you know, Clint Kershaw has won so much things in his life, so much awards. You know, he also was the Major League Player of the Year one year. So, guys, you know, but let's get into uh, Kershaw's 2021 stats. Um, overall, guys, Clint Kershaw went 10 and 8 with an ERA of 3.55. Okay. He had, he pitched in 22 games. But to be honest with you guys, he didn't really, you know, the fact that he only pitched in 22 games, you know, he had injuries, you know, the Dodgers did make it to the postseason and Kershaw just could not, you know, pitch in the postseason because of his injury. So, you know, if the Mets were to go for Clayton Kershaw, you know, they would have to pay him some money there. You know what I'm saying? Clayton Kershaw is a big name still. You know, his health is a little bit of a concern and I completely understand, but definitely guys, you know... He's going to want some money. And I don't know if he's going to want that type of Max Scherzer money, but he's going to want money. And, you know, so I don't know if the Mets and Steve Cohen is going to be able to pay Kershaw the type of money that he wants. But definitely, just imagine the one, two, three punch. Um, You know what I'm saying? One of the best punches, to be honest. One, two, three. Um, Max Scherzer, Jacob DeGrom, and Clayton Kershaw. You know, obviously the order goes Jacob DeGrom, Max Scherzer, and Clayton Kershaw. Because we know that Jacob DeGrom is number one, you know, of course. So, but guys, that's definitely, let's see what happens with that. You know, apparently the Mets don't have a lot of interest in Kershaw, you know, before the lockout. So, we'll see what happens. You know, maybe post-lockout plans, they would look into Kershaw. But I definitely wanted to bring Kershaw up because I think he's definitely, you know, Noteworthy, you know what I'm saying? This guy is one of the best pitchers in free agency right now. So, we're going to get into another pitcher, guys. Carlos Rodon. You know, a 29-year-old pitcher. You know, a guy that he was... He's, he has won... Uh, he has been an all-star one time. You know, for his 20... Yeah, so Carlos Rodon is 29 years old. You know, in 2021, he went 13-5 and with an ERA of 2.37. 
Now, that is a nice ERA. Imagine if the Mets would have had a pitcher in 2021 with an ERA of 2.37. They would have been in a, definitely, they would have been in a, in a better position and probably made the playoffs. So, um, Carlos Rodon, you know, like I said, he's 29 years old. You know, he's not the, uh, not the oldest, not the youngest, but definitely, um, he's an, he's a nice name to look at. Definitely. Um, but he was an all-star in 2021 and overall guys, he has not pitched in a lot of games, you know, in his previous years and not had a lot of success. So this is really the only year that he has had that big success that, you know, 13 and five. So, um, I think the Mets should definitely look at Carlos Rodon. Look at an option, you know, because definitely I feel like he would be a nice little piece for the New York Mets. And maybe he could be the number three, you know, in the Mets rotation, you know, because definitely if the Mets were to sign Carlos Rodon, he would slide in right there at number three. Because I don't trust Carlos Carrasco. I don't trust Ty John Walker. I don't trust David Peterson. And I don't trust Tyler McGill. And Tyler McGill is really the only one that I really like out of all of them. Um, Yeah. But, um... Carlos Rodon, you know, he'll be a nice little piece. I definitely think so. Let's get into another pitcher the Mets to probably look at. Um, you know, Danny Duffy. So that's another lefty. And I feel like the Mets definitely, you know, they want some type of lefty because they don't have that much confidence that they had previously in David Peterson. So Danny Duffy, guys, 33 years old, you know, 2015 World Series champion. And yes, he did win the World Series against the Mets in 2015, obviously. Um, you know, in 2021, he did, um, you know, he went 4-3 with an ERA of 2.1 ERA. So, you know, he has, he has only pitched in 12 games. And in 2021, and yeah, like I said, 2021, he only pitched in 12 games. And 2020, he only pitched in 11. So... I would say a cause for concern is definitely, guys, health um, with Danny Duffy. So if the Mets were to look at, um, you know, free agency a pitcher and, you know, if they was to look at Danny Duffy, I think, guys, they should really think about his health and is he the right fit for the New York Mets? Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get into my opinion at the end of the video about, you know, all of these pitchers, but definitely uh, Danny Duffy. Would be another, uh, you know, another nice addition to the New York Mets. And I feel like personally, yeah, I'll, I'll get into my opinion later on. But Danny Duffy, like I said, guys, 2015 World Series champion. So he has the postseason experience, you know, even against the Mets. So, yeah. But let's get into another addition. Uh, you know, the Mets should probably look at, you know, a guy... Not by free agency, not a pitcher by free agency, by trade. I think they should look at Chris Bassett. Now, Chris Bassett is 32 years old. You know, Bassett went 12-4 and four with an ERA of 3.15. Now, Bassett is a one-time all-star. You know, he has pitched in the postseason, you know, in 2020. You know, he will be a free agent after the 2022 season. So... He will be clearly a rental. Now, you know, he has a nice four-seam fastball, you know, 90, 94 miles per hour, but he knows how to work it. He has a cutter, 89 miles per hour. He knows how to work it, too. He has a changeup that's pretty good as well, 86 miles per hour. He has a nice slider, uh, 77 miles per hour, and a nice curveball that's 72 miles per hour. Now, the curveball is definitely slower, and, you know, that catches um, hitters off guard. So... Um, yeah, Chris Bassett, guys. Imagine if the Mets were to get Chris Bassett, you know, if he was to slide in number three to Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer. I feel like personally Chris, Chris Bassett would be a nice piece. But since he is a rental, guys, he will not cost as much money. You know, he will not cost as much um, by trade, to be honest. And so the Athletics, you know, they would want something obviously back, right? So I think personally, Bassett will be a nice number three for the Mets. Now, I'm going to give you guys this trade scenario here. Um, you know, I like Tyler McGill. I really do like Tyler McGill. I really like David Peterson as well, you know. But I feel like the Mets, you know, they can make a trade for Tyler McGill. And they can make a trade for David Peterson. But I feel like more, they can make a trade for Tyler McGill because he showed that he can have some type of success in the major leagues, you know, he looked like he was actually dominating 
um, you know, when he first came up, you know. So, guys, imagine uh, Tyler McGill and Drew Smith for Chris Bassett. Now, the Mets, you know, like I said, will be getting a nice number three starter, you know, with postseason experience, you know, in 2020, obviously. And the Athletics are going to get a nice young pitcher and a nice young reliever. So this looks like a pretty nice deal, guys. Um, Hopefully the Mets, you know, sign Bassett to an extension after they make this deal. And, you know, if this deal does not work out, then I think definitely they can try to make a, another deal. You know, definitely, like I said, he is a rental. So he's not going to, you know, cost you that much. You know, he's not going to cost you a big prospect or whatever. But he did go 12-4. and four. You know, with an ERA of 3.15. So he is one of the best um, Oakland pitchers that they have. So, But he is a rental. So obviously, Oakland wants to get rid of him. And they want something for him. And there hasn't been talks about Chris Bassett um, signing with Oakland um, again. So definitely, um, I think they definitely want to trade him. And the Mets should definitely look at him, you know, as the number three, I feel like that would be he would be he would be a nice number three starter. But guys, let me get into my opinion overall about all of these pitchers, guys. Definitely, uh, Clayton Kershaw. Let's talk about Clayton Kershaw. We already talked about him a little bit, but guys, I think personally, Clayton Kershaw, you know, you know, he's gonna cost the Mets a little too much, and you know, I don't feel like he's gonna leave LA. You know, the Dodgers they love Kershaw. You know. They love him so much. You know, he has grew up there. You know, he was their draft pick. You know, he was their big guy. They centered around him for so much time. So, and they finally won the World Series in 2020. So, and he had so much success with the Dodgers. So, why would he leave the Dodgers, right? Now, like I said, Kershaw, I just don't think he's going to leave. So, I think he's going to go back to um, the Dodgers or maybe sign with another team. But I think definitely, guys, he's going to sign back with the Dodgers because I don't see him going to another team. But Carlos Rodon, I really, um, you know, he's 29 years old. What concerns me is the past years he hasn't had that type of success that he had in 2021. So, you know, it could just be a fluke. And, you know, I don't want to say just could be a fluke because 162 games is a lot of games. You know, it's a whole season. So, like I said, he went 13-5 and five with an ERA of 2.37. I think personally he would be a nice addition to the Mets, a nice little number three, you know. So we'll see what happens. But uh, Carlos Rodon, either I see him actually signing with a different team, you know. I see the White Sox just um, not, you know, letting him go. So definitely, uh, Danny Duffy, guys, you know, thirty-three years old. He won the World Series in twenty fifteen against the Mets. Uh, you know, obviously, what I talked about with his, uh, you know, his concern is the health. So, the fact that he's only pitched in, what, 12 games in 2021 and 11 games in 2020, it's concerning, and I don't think the Mets should go for Danny Duffy, you know, at the end of the day. But, you know, it was a nice name to talk about. Um, but, guys, definitely, guys, I want to say this. Chris Bassett, personally, I feel like that's who the Mets should go for. I feel like he will be a nice number three, pit, you know, number three uh, starter for the New York Mets. And I think, personally, guys... He would probably get us to the postseason. You know, if Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer, you know, they need somebody to, you know, work that load. You know, they need somebody to handle that workload. And I feel like Chris Bassett could definitely do that, guys. Let me know what you guys think about all these pitchers. Let me know what you guys think about Clay and Kershaw. Let me know what you guys think about Carlos Rodon. Let me know what you guys think about Danny Duffy. And also let me know what you think about my personal pick, Chris Bassett. So... Yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Definitely, guys, I always want to end the video with telling you guys you can do anything you want to do in your life. So, yeah, just do it. Don't let anyone stop you in this world. And, yeah, stay blessed. Let's go, Mets.